Hey Finksters and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick how to use the group by operation on a Python list of lists. So this is, um, there are like three different ways of doing this and I will discuss all of them and uh, like gradually build up uh, the tutorial. Okay, so the first goal is to, uh, so say we have a list of list, lists. So this could be a database, for example, with some row entries. And uh, yeah, here we have like four rows in our database and the columns are name, age, and income. So name can be like Alice, Bob, Anne, and Alice. So we can have two persons with the same name. And then we have some age um, integer variables and income integer variables. And now we want to group by name. Okay, so we want to group this list of lists by a common element. And this can be, for example, the name. It can be anything else if you have other lists. I mean, it can be the second element or the third element. But now we group by the first element, like by the common first element. And we want to group together those elements that are the same. Yeah. So for example, we have Alice, two, we have two rows, Alice, and we want to group them together. So if you um, check out, I've prepared a small photo here. Uh, so I, I just get rid of my face now for a moment. Um, good. So we want to, so we have this, this situation where we have a list of lists this list you have already seen in the code and now we want to group together the two um, lists with starting with the Alice element okay so so that we have like two persons Alice we have a dictionary now and the name Alice maps to the age and income lists okay so we have a mapping from the key which is the like the first value of the list um, of the sub lists here it's a name Alice and name Bob and we map this this common element to the um, age and income um, sublists. Okay, so now we have two sublists and often like this is the group by operation. Yeah, so we group by name Alice, basically. And um, now like an advanced operator, so like first the naive approach is just to group by and then have a list of lists as return value. But maybe we, want, we even want to like average. So what is the average income, average age of persons named Alice? So we can do some some aggregation function to aggregate those two persons together to one persona like a kind of person okay so this is a common operation in database and sql like if you know sql then you know the group by operation actually okay so this is what we want to accomplish we want to create a dictionary that groups uh, the the different persons together how can we accomplish this so first we yeah like create an empty empty dictionary then we go over all rows here for row in rows and now we we have to like incorporate this row into the dictionary what first we check if the first element of this row which is the name attribute remember you want to group by name so this should be the key of our dictionary so first we check whether this one is not in the dictionary if this if it is not in the dictionary then of course we want to add it to the dictionary okay so we um we add the empty list here to the dictionary so if you check out our photo again here we have a dictionary which is a list of lists basically okay so we want to map a key a string key to a list of lists so therefore we create an empty list this is the outer list uh, for the dictionary element alice for example or bob or n okay and we in our specific code we execute this three times so we add three elements uh, three key value pairs to the dictionary okay now we we can be sure that the, that the zeroth element of the row uh, list which is our name um, is in the dictionary okay so now we can simply um, like take it this one just takes our our list that we have just created or if the list was already there then it takes the list that is already there so for example if we visit this a second time for the name Alice then we have already created the entry Alice and then we just take the take this list and there's already something in this list which is like the first um, from, the, from the first Alice operation. And now we append something. We append, the append operation appends a single element to the list. So this is like, if we append a list, then we have a list of lists. And now we append a list basically and we use slicing to access those information. Yeah, because we don't need the naming information anymore because it's already the key. So like we simply store this 19 years old and uh, 45,000 dollar income uh, values and for the second time also i mean if you visit alice the second time we simply append a new list consisting of those two elements okay 
and um, yeah this is already it so this is this is how we can group by um, those values so if you print the dictionary you will see <coughs> the following output so we have like Alice the key Alice is mapped to a list of lists and this is like those two elements are basically the, to the two um, two data data items of the of our rows matrix okay so we have like 19 and 45,000 and 33 118,000 so these two entry, uh, entries were associated to the Alice key and also for Bob we have like uh, yeah we have a list of lists with only one element uh, this makes sense and we have a list of lists with only one element for n because we have only one entry for Bob and one entry for Bob in our um, list of lists okay so this is how, how we can group by a certain common element I mean you can do the same thing for if you would have another element so if you wanted to group by the first element then you would just replace it here and uh, here and here basically and so on okay so you can simply modify it um, to group for another element of your list of lists okay so but w n not now what if you want to aggregate all values in your list of lists into a single value yeah so for example you want, you want to average the h values which are the first elements of your list of lists and you want to aggregate the um, income values which are the second elements of your list of lists uh, so now then we have to do some post-processing I just call it aggregate so we just take what we have what we have already created and we go over all keys in the dictionary so first the first key will be Alice the second will be Bob the third one will be N and we access this key so we change it actually we overwrite this key and we want to create a new list and the list should have two entries for each attribute which ha should ha should have one en entry yeah basically we now we zip together because now like the first element for example of this Alice of the Alice um, dictionary value is this one and the second one second element is this one and now we want to asso associate the first element of the first list with this first element of the second list uh, and the second element of the first list with the second element of the second list okay and this is done by the zip function so we basically um, uh, use list comprehension and we iterate over all the values in our um, zip function we unpack this first I will explain it in a moment why we are doing this so this is kind of our context this gives us like we iterate over all variables in in the in the zipped um, in the zipped object in zipped iterable and now we do something with this so this x basically is a sub list now um, or it's a it's an, yeah it's a list it's a list basically yeah so because this one will be like the uh, uh, may, it may be even be a tuple so because we have also associated this 19 with the 33 with the zip function okay so the zip function just groups to pairs together the ith elements of the sequences you pass to the zip function and here which sequences did we pass yeah we unpack the list of lists so we pass in the Alice case we pass two lists but in the uh, Bob's case we pass only one list okay so and it no matter what it creates a tuple that pairs the ith elements of the sequences you pass and um, so therefore in, in, in like in Bob's case we will have a list with one element 18 in Anne's case we will have a list with one element 26 and in Alice's case we will have a list with two elements 19 and 33 and um, yeah and then we will also have another list for uh, for the income incomes respectively okay so we zip them together we go over all these elements and now we average um, them simply yeah so the average you can compute the average by using the sum function divided by the length function of a given um, iterable x and so this is like the list comprehension statement this is an expression how how do we modify each value x and this is yeah how do we define each value x so what what is x basically what are what values take uh, takes the variable x on while iterating over a certain uh, sequence okay so this is like a very concise one-liner solution that aggregates um, our previous dictionary you have seen the dictionary lo look like this we have a list of lists and now we we pair together like the first elements and the second elements with the zip function and we aggregate this 1933 list which we just created we aggregated and um, calculate the sum which means that we calculate 19 plus 33 and divide it by the length which is 2 so this is the basic average function in Bob's case we are we simply like as like 
um, group together the first uh, the first element <coughs> with itself so it's a tuple with one element so we calculate the sum of this tuple with one element it's 18 and the length is one so we have 18 divided by one which is 18 as well okay so this is how we aggregate it if you print this dictionary now then it looks different so you you, you see the first dictionary looks like this it's a it's it maps a, a key which is a name um, to a list of lists which are all values that we have grouped uh, together and in uh, our case now we have like the list comprehension created only a flat list so it's not a list of lists anymore with the average values okay so 19 plus 33 divided by 2 is 26 and 45,000 plus 118,000 divided by 2 is uh, 81,500 okay so this is basically this does it and here for Bob for example the average doesn't change from this single value and for n as well i mean the the values for n also stays the same yeah so we have 26 years old and it stays the same and 88,000 income stays the same because we have only one value in the in the group okay so that's how that is how you can aggregate this uh, together um, then a third a third uh, method of doing this like this was the pure python way of doing it but there's also pandas way of doing it yeah so let's remove everything else with pandas you can simply like call pan you can import it pandas as pd usually you use pd then we, we create a data frame which is like a spreadsheet in pandas you will see it visualized in a moment uh, we create a data frame object from our rows and now let's print this so that you see how it looks like so th this has has now very beautiful structure actually the pandas data frame uh, it looks nice also on the shell if you have output you see you have the column indices 0 1 2 you have the row indices 0 1 2 3 uh, you know, which means that you have like uh, like four rows and here like this one is the age at attribute this one is the income attribute and this one is the name attribute and um, uh, okay so now we want to group by we, we want to calculate the group so basically we want to group all Alice values values and average their um, their other other column values okay and how do we do this yeah so fortunately um, pandas comes with the data frame group by method and now we, we have to define what do we want to group so what is our grouping criteria criteria and we want to group all L, so we want to group after the first column value so we simply pass a list with one column in, um, index the column index is like here in the name we want to group by the name and this is the first column so therefore we use index zero for the first column and now we have and now this one is a group this re returns a group by object like a data frame group by object <laughs> it's a very long name and uh, we can do some advanced arithmetic on this for example we can calculate the mean on it and we can calculate our other functions like the variance or so you can also use look it up simply um, yeah but uh, yeah in our case we want to calculate the average which is called mean in in pandas and that's already it this if you execute this code snippet then you see so I have to make this smaller so that it fits this screen here. Um, okay, so this was our first output. This is the original data data set we have created from the list of lists. And this is our output here. We have like Alice, 26 years old, which is the average. Yeah, you see, you saw the output here. Our averaging was 26 and the average income was uh, 81,500. And you see average income 81,500. And also for Anne, it stays the same. And for Bob, it stays the same. So basically these values are now averaged. So we have first performed the group operation, the group by, and we select the, the index by which we want to group, which is the name, the first index. And uh, so therefore we also have only unique names because all Alice's are integrated or aggregated together in one Alice persona, if you like. And we specify how we want to aggregate the multiple um, uh, the multiple values that we have grouped together like for with averaging you can also sum it up or actually you can do different things okay so that's it these are the like three different alternatives how to use the group by operation in python um, of course in general it's recommended to use pandas to use library functionality if possible because it's also much more readable this 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 one here than the code i showed previously but i think it's also a good exercise to learn about the different different python 
uh, advanced functions like list comprehension, zip function, and so on. So to really understand this this uh, this uh, video, if you had struggles understanding it, then watch it again. Uh, probably next time it will be much easier for you to understand. And uh, if you want to like really really improve and take your data science skills to the next level, then I advise that you take my free webinar which shows you how to build your high income skill python and um, i did it by by um, really doing some python freelancer work for a year or so so i did some freelancing task for um, real world clients solving real problems and uh, this of course then creates a like well-rounded software develop developer skill set if you have this uh, if you want to 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 increase your value to the marketplace then you should you should consider actually to sell your skills on the marketplace because only then you will develop this this combination of skill set with communication skills and um, uh, business skills and also coding skills and problem solution skills and marketing skills and so on that help you sell yourself uh, much more expensive and uh, earn more money in the process so check it out check out my free webinar where i show you exactly how you can uh, how you can uh, um, earn more money as a Python freelancer and get paid for learning the real things, the real, the meaty stuff <laughs> that is out there and also have some fun in the process. Okay. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.